Hello, good day to all of us. Welcome to our to this episode. We are now in our part 7 of our design of two-story building with hip roping system. In previous episode, we designed the roping trusses of our subject structure, but some members failed, meaning those members are not safe for construction. So we need to look for ways to make all members safe. What are these members? These are members located in the overhang and members that fall in Jonto region of the roping system. So let us modify now the trusses so we can proceed to our next part, which is the design of concrete frames. What I'm gonna do here is, I would isolate one truss here for easy work and for us to have more working space. And then highlight that truss here like so. Then right click on the white screen and click new view. And then click OK. Now let us go to front so we can see also the web members. I want to extend this bottom cord here by a distance of 1.7 meters to the left. To do this, I like the member to be streets. Go to geometry and click streets beam. Then here select through a distance. Then select start. Since this is green here, which means start. And the direction of extension starts from green, okay? Then give the distance of extension which is 1.7 meters. Now let us stretch the opposite end member. Next, we will move this down. Using node cursor, Let me select the nodes here. Go to geometry, then click connect beams on Y axis. Go to select, select members parallel to Y axis. Then go to beam tools, then click merge beams. Then close. Let us delete this diagonal web members. Then now let us connect new diagonal members. Then we will assign properties. Now we will mirror this to other side.
Okay, these are now the rectified trusses. Same size, same load application, except that uh, we add stepeners here in the overhang. Run analysis. Now all the members fast the design. If we want to know the maximum deflection of its members caused by dead load and live load, where our deflection limit according to NSFA section 424.2 Here, rope or floors supporting to or attached to non-structural elements. And for roofing, it is not likely to be damaged by large deflection. So the deflection limit is L over 240. So what is the shortest span of the truss member? We can check it here. The shortest span is 1.25 meters, so the deflection limit is, according to NSCF, L divided by 240, our L is 1,250 millimeter, so 1,250 divided by 240 is equal to 5.2 millimeter. Deflection limit is 5.2 millimeter. Let us see if there is any of the truss members has more than 5.2 mm deflection. Display first the whole structure. Now, we just go to post-processing here. Click. Highlight any of the member. Then hover your mouse cursor here. Maximum relative displacement. Here is max y. So the data inside this column is the maximum displacement of any of the corresponding member here. Example, member 124. Member 124. 124. Here, its maximum deflection here is negative 0.155 at a distance of 0.833 meter. We can double check here if it really is. Let us select beam 124. To do this, go to select, then click list. Here type 124. Then click select listed entities. Then close. So here is that beam. Double click this beam. Click deflection, here dead load plus live load, Y direction, and click local deflection. So it is negative 0.155 at 0.833 distance. So here, if we scroll down to this column, all members are within the deflection limit of 5 mm, and most of the beams here has only less than 1 mm. We can also hover the mouse cursor without clicking to every member here to know the utilization ratio. Or go to result, click utilization ratio, and check displacement. In here, by looking at the member ratio where most members have it considerably small, members can be adjusted by decreasing the size so the ratio would elevate but would not exceed a value of 1. Now someone asked, would it be possible if all supports were pain support? The answer is yes. In here, the intention of this roller support is to allow the truss to move in this direction. 
when there is huge lateral movement of moment frames during possible earthquake. We don't allow member trust to resist lateral force exerted by moment frame. And in the actual, we have to ensure correct implementation of this type of connection. Let's say we want to make all these supports a pin connection support. Highlight support 3, then right click at display screen. Click new view, then click OK. Next, highlight support 2, which is the pin support. Then highlight all the support in the model. Click assign to selected nodes, then click assign. Display the whole structure. Next, highlight support 4. Right click on the display screen. Again, click new view. Click OK. Now highlight support 2, then select all the support in the model. Click assign to selected nodes, then click assign. Display the whole structure. Click done. Now let us check field beams. There is one member field in the design here. So can we imagine how many more members would have filled if we had modeled these trusses together with the SMRF? Like this. To implement the ruler support in actual, let's say this truss here having three supports, two roller supports and one pin support on three concrete columns here. In this model, pin connected support is at the center. So in actual for roller support, the bottom cord which shall be anchored to these two bolts here must have slatted holes just like this for this member to move easily when needed as shown in this drawing. While for pin connected support, the said bottom cord shall have holes as shown here in this drawing, okay? In the next video, we are going to design concrete columns, beams, and slabs. So we need forces from this roofing to be acting on rock beams and columns. I have big use on how to transfer reaction forces from superstructure down to substructure. But let me extract the forces here anyway, for the sake of those who are new to this channel to avoid confusion.
yung aling dita naman siya yung yung parang yung nagkokorte sa ano plato yung kokorte niya yung plato yung nagigiwang ganun siya di Andres Pistirao sa araw niya si Monique naman pakyawan siya kaya ano yung magawa niya yun ang babayaran sa kanya ang swelduan niya linggo ay may mga umutang sila kaya na That's all for today's video. See you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.